watch and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to discuss a few movies. I think I'll start with Smithereens. This is Susan Seidelman's first one. She would go on, as a matter of fact, I believe this film is the precursor to uh, Desperately Seeking Susan. They both sort of have tinges of the same thing going on throughout the course of each film. Strong female leads put into varying situations of uh, different, I suppose, different percentages of adversity where they have to face off against different percentages of adversity and get through it, yada, yada, yada. Even though I will say words, I found Desperately Seeking Susan to be incredibly fun and sort of motivating and even uplifting. Um, I did find this movie to be narcissistically nihilistic. Narcissistically nihilistic. There it is. And so the story is centered around Ren. She is uh, a, she works in a copy shop. She's printing out flyers for everybody and doing whatever else she needs, as well as printing off her own flyers for things that she is attempting to promote. And if I'm not mistaken, she's supplementing her income by mugging people in the subway. And essentially what this film is, to sum smithereens up quickly, is it's just, you're watching Ren just burn every bridge she comes across. It, it, it just, to sum it up quickly, you know, every person she meets, she screws. She screws over, so I shouldn't screw like she doesn't fuck them. Some of them she does, but most of them she just fucks over. And it's just her bouncing from place to place, leeching off people. And Richard Hell is in this from Richard Hell and the, ah, oh fuck, what was the name of his band? The Voivods, I think. It's been a while. He's in this as well. And it's just, like I said, it's just Ren going around screwing her life up by treating everybody like shit because she is so, her narcissism knows absolutely no boundaries and it's Ren's way or no way. And everybody else just has to play second fiddle, you know, to, to Ren's ultimate importance. So needless to say, with burning every bridge that she comes across, um, by the end of the movie, she finds herself essentially homeless. And I know that we're supposed to feel bad for her at this point because she has, even though she has burned every bridge and, and it was done of her own accord, she's still a person and she is kind of homeless and she doesn't know what to do next. And the movie concludes with her walking down the freeway and this guy trying to pick her up in a car. He's like, come on, I'm a nice guy. I'm this, I'm that. You know, I'm not going to hurt you. We, you know, we can hang out. We can have some fun. And the final line of the movie I always found to be fairly impactful is he says, you got a better place to spend your time? And it cuts just as she kind of turns and looks back like this because she has nowhere else to go. But she does. See, the movie attempted to end it on some sort of more deep emotional moment or something. But the whole time we knew, from the time that she visited her sister earlier on in the film to attempt to get another loan out of her and her husband, her sister said, why don't you just go home to mom and dad's place? They're cool with having you there. And she's like, I don't want to go home to mom and dad's place, blah, blah, blah. So when the movie ends and she's like, got nowhere to go, it's not entirely true. So my sympathy for her is pretty much non-existent to begin with, but the nicest thing I can say is that my sympathy for her is measured. I suppose to a point I feel bad for, her, even though I don't, but I could lie and say that I do, so I will. So I feel bad for her to a point, but I don't because I'm lying. And she can go home, hang out with her parents, and she can stop mugging people and screwing over everybody she meets. Maybe that, that might serve her well in the long run as well. Um, but yeah, so look, I am going to go. So thank you so much for hanging out. Whoa, this is short. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for four and a half minutes while I discuss Susan Seilman's awesome and yet kind of flawed smithereens. It's a cool movie and I love the time period. I love how honest it seems and I, I love how gritty this movie was. And I, I love like that sort of 19, early 1980s punk rock grime that this movie has all over it. But Ren got on my nerves, I will say that. You gotta treat people better. So yeah, so like always, if you liked this review or whatever this was, don't forget to do something nice for somebody and don't forget that you guys are amazing and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good night.
I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.